One of the best optional accessories you can get for your Supermax 25x2 dual head sander is a digital readout and in this video we'll show you how to install that. So we'll be working at the back of the machine here where there's two screws and you'll go ahead and undo those set screws and just sort of pop those out with an Allen wrench and we'll take this bracket, it's an L bracket, and we'll take the wide face and put it outward and go ahead and just take your screw and your lock washer and washer assembly and screw those in there and just you know leave it slightly loose and it should look like that. So next just put your screw and your lock washer washer assembly in there just sort of um, barely put it in and we'll go ahead and fit the next bracket which has a cutout as you can see here and we'll just sort of drop that in behind there and tighten that down and you can just sort of leave it loose to begin with but you know make sure that it's in there and once you do that it's a pretty easy to just take the back of the DRO there's a couple of tiny screws that we'll just put in the two top positions there and just sort of screw them in slightly and then we'll take this and drop it in onto that bottom bracket so you can drop it in there and what I like to do is just use a regular drill bit um, Phillips head drill bit and that gives you enough room to get in there and tighten it down and you can just sort of tighten it down finger tight for the moment and uh, yeah we'll tighten that up and that should be good to go for the moment and then you'll grab a screw and a nut and just raise that support and that um, that bar up a little bit and you'll insert the screw there and fasten it to that bracket really easy stuff here and once that's done you'll go ahead and take that nut and tighten it down on the back side of that bracket and then what we'll do is we'll remove this front cover and that'll allow us to just sort of take out one of these screws that we're going to need to uh, fit into the back side. So take that front cover off just like that and then go in there with a Phillips head screwdriver and undo the screw that's holding that, that casing to the bracket. And you can use an Allen wrench to sort of pop it out of there. It's um, sort of a channel that you can kind of work that, that screw out of. And once you get there, we're going to attach this screw to the back side. So grab your other bracket. It's just an L bracket. And you'll have it with the two holes sort of facing upward, which we'll show you in a minute and just screw that um, bracket onto the back of the control panel there. And now we'll put the case back on the front and screw it back into place, just like that. Get the top one slightly tight and the bottom on there as well. You don't have to tighten it up too hard, it, it stays on there. And then go ahead and insert the screws onto the front of that bracket and take the digital readout and that just sort of holds it in place along with the magnetic holder. So there you go. You've installed your digital readout. 